This is Average Joe PT, and on this episode, we're going to talk about neck pain that doesn't seem to want to go away. No matter what you do, whether you're trying to stretch it, or whether you're trying to take some ibuprofen, or if you're just trying to get a massage, we're going to talk about why your pain in your neck isn't going away. So stay tuned. When we talk about neck pain, we're talking about where is the origin of my pain coming from? I've tried a massage, I've tried drugs, I've tried resting it, and this dumb neck doesn't want to seem to calm down. It keeps giving me radiating pain in my head area, down my shoulder, into my shoulder blade area, and we're trying to figure out why the heck everything I do, the pain is going away. So number one reason why your pain isn't going away is because you're not stopping the activity that's causing your symptoms in the first place. More times than not, if you're doing a lot of looking down activities, like looking at your phone, looking at the computer, or just doing a lot of reading, when you're looking down a lot, it puts a lot of strain on these neck muscles. And those neck muscles over time can't take more stretching. They need to get into a shortened position and relaxing. So that's the reason why when you're stretching those muscles, they don't respond to your pain going away because they're already been stretched out in the first place and that's what's causing your pain. So that's number one. Number two reason why you're still having pain in your head area even though you've tried other things, that massage a lot of times, if your area and your muscles are already inflamed and irritated, if you go ahead and have a professional or even just a gentle massage, a lot of times that can aggravate it even more and you wonder afterwards, oh, it felt a little bit better, but jeepers, next day I'm still hurting. So that's the second reason why massage really sometimes isn't what you want to be able to do. The third reason when you're having all types of you know, symptoms and doing the medication route that doesn't seem to want to go away is you take the medication, your symptoms seem to get a little bit better, but you haven't stopped the activity that was causing your symptoms in the first place. Now we're going to go over one, two different muscles that you need to work on to get your symptoms to go away in your neck. So stay tuned. There's two very important muscle groups that we need to talk about to try and get your neck pain to go away. And these aren't talked about, as I can see, almost at all on the internet. Now, number one is this large muscle group called the trapezius muscle. Now, this muscle actually has three different spots. The one that we think of in your neck is your upper trapezius, but there's a middle trapezius and there's a lower trapezius. The lower trapezius muscle is what we're going to talk about. That muscle is actually attached partially to your shoulder blade area and your entire lower part of your back. And when you strengthen that muscle group, it naturally pulls your shoulder blade back and down, which helps lengthen and pull your entire spine back into good alignment. And that way, your neck isn't always on a stretched position. So that muscle needs to have some tone in it, some strength in it, so it naturally can help pull back the joint when you're looking down all the time. We need to have what we call opposing muscle groups working with one another. That way when we're looking down all the time, we have the muscles in the opposite direction actually helping to stabilize and hold us in place and reducing that overall stress on the joint in the first place, which is causing your pain. The second most important muscle group is actually your latissimus dorsi. That's right, the lat muscle for sure. That muscle is huge. It spans the entire back side of you, and it actually comes up and attaches up onto your shoulder. It's actually mainly a rotator muscle for your shoulder area, but it also helps pull that shoulder back and down when it's in a nice, good tone position. That's the reason why those two muscles are very important to reduce your overall neck pain because they help pull everything back into good alignment. Beside you sitting upright, you'll have some, those muscle groups will have a little bit of strength in them. Now, how do you strengthen those two extra muscle groups? Stay tuned just a little bit longer and I'm gonna show you it's really easy and amazingly enough, it's not actually shown on the internet very much. 
These two exercises are really going to work on improving your posture, taking the stress off that neck, and making you feel better. That number one really is just lying on your stomach, lifting your arms up a little bit. You ain't gonna go as high as this guy and then bring them back down. That's gonna work that lower trapezius muscle. You wanna do probably eight to 10 reps. You wanna do that at least a couple times a day. Should feel a little bit of fatigue in the back area. Shouldn't have any pain. Try not lifting your neck up off of the pillow or off the floor at all. Try and keep your head flat on the floor and you're just lifting your arms up. Now the second exercise really is the latissimus dorsi and you can strengthen that a hundred different ways. This way is you're just using a rubber band or you don't even have to use a rubber band. Just have your arms in that, in that position up tall, come down about halfway and then come back and return. You want to make sure that you're staying up nice and tall, that you're not bent forwards at all when you're doing this exercise. Same exact time, do about 10, 8 to 10 reps and you want to do that a couple times a day. And you want to do that, I would say, for probably a good three to four weeks and that's going to help strengthen those muscle groups while reducing the pain in your neck. So, if this is the first time you guys have come to here, Love to have you subscribe. Scully and I try and bring some content a couple times a week. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Hit the bell. But until next time, Scully and I always like to say look up and keep smiling. See you next time, folks.